Hi everyone, it's uh, Gareth here at Eurovision Ireland and uh, again we are doing our exclusive interviews with the five artists at this year's Eurosong 2014 uh, contest looking for Ireland's entry for Eurovision 2014. Um, we're here in the fabulous surroundings of House here in Leeson Street. Thank you to them for allowing us to come here. You should check them out. Uh, their website is housedublin.ie um, I am here today with two beautiful women and I feel totally out of my, I'm punching above my weight as they say. Um, I am here with the fabulous Casey who is going to be singing on the night and her mentor Hazel Cadeswarren. Hello both of you. Hello <laughs> you. <laughs> Can I firstly say thank you Casey, you just got off a flight from London and came dashing in here. No problem and at you're all. you're looking fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel, I feel a bit windswept, but however. That's a good Eurovision win machine, yeah. so don't yeah. get used to Gotta it. Have the wind machine. <laughs> the dramas. The dramas of air <laughs> Well, welcome both to our chat here. Thank you. Thank you. Can I just say, Casey, it's so good to have you back in the Eurosong final because we all remember you from uh, 2012 when you That's sang right. Kiss Me. And People love that song. It's been played on Eurovision radio all the time, several years after the event, yeah. and people still love it. I know. I mean, how was the Eurosong 2012 experience for you? Do you know what? It was absolutely amazing. You know, the buzz around the Eurovision is just crazy, especially in Ireland. Everyone just loves it. And, you know, I was just so honoured to, you know, maybe be in, a chance, in with a chance to represent Ireland and it was just amazing because I remember when I was younger like I'd have my popcorn and my seven up like four years of age watching the telly like so amazed by the Eurovision and all these different countries coming in and doing their own traditional songs and different pop and I was just always amazed so that's that's obviously it's a big thing for me so. And what have you been doing since Eurovision just so to fill everybody in since the Euro song? I've been doing a little bit of writing here and there and gigging, so I'm still doing the music and still trying to find my own little sound as well. So. And how did you manage to become involved with your song this year and of course with the wonderful Hazel Keynes Warren? Well I knew Hazel from a few years back from when I was in Wonderland, a girl band, so you know in Ireland turn around. I got to know her and she sent me the song and said, what do you think? And I was absolutely blown away by the song. So I was like, please, can I, you know, can I sing the song? And I'm just in love with it now. So I think last year, um, or Casey being on Eurosong last year, I have watched uh, since being a judge in Eurostar. I love Eurovision, absolutely love it. And same, uh, when we were kids, we all sat around the television. And um, Casey last year with the song, as much as it was an absolute brilliant song, I felt it didn't do her the world to go, like justice, because she's yeah. absolutely a phenomenal singer. And so, it was such a quick song, even though it's a great, it's a real catchy song, it was such a quick song that uh, you didn't get to hear how good a singer she is. And um, I let uh, Casey hear the song first and we went in and just stood in front of a microphone just to hear how she sounded on it. And I, I was blown away. She's an absolutely phenomenal singer. And you, you're going to be absolutely blown away by seeing her, the way this song is totally different to last year's. But she, that she's so diverse that she can do, she can do everything. No pressure on you there, Casey. Thank you, Hazel. So <laughs> yeah. I was oh like, I'm standing outside with a whip. <laughs> He's biting me nails. <laughs> Let's not talk about no. your bedroom no. antics. I don't need to know about that, Hazel. <laughs> it's like, it so funny when we were in the studio and, and Casey was singing. Obviously because I'm a singer, so I nearly know where the song is supposed to go. So I was standing there and I just, I love the song, Casey the same. So when Casey was singing, I was like standing behind doing like <laughs> Nicole Scherzing. I said, you're, you're not going to be able to stop me when I'm in the audience when she's actually up on stage because she does it so well. And as a singer, I had to make sure that someone could sing it as good as if it was, if it was me. And she does it even better. And is that the tough part for you yeah, as a singer yeah. sort of going, oh, I want to be up on that stage, let me up as well, you yeah. know, but obviously you have faith in Casey oh, as well. Yeah. But is that tough for you? It was, it's tough, but it's, go it's good because it's, it's another string to my bow because I got to see being a mentor how it is to be on the other side. Even though when I did um, Pop Stars Arrivals, I got to see how it was when I was um, a Eurostar. I got to see how it was from the other side of the table because I, was being, I wasn't being judged. 
So now here, here it is again. It's like uh, it's a new experience, and I got to see how hard it is to actually be the manager to organise the publicity tour, organise the photographs, organise the inlays, the, actually physically putting it out on a CD. It's so hard. Yeah. And I'm a mum of four kids, so I'm trying to do that as well as this. But to be back in the studio to watch Casey doing it, it's, it's, and you know, I'm like a mother figure, like trying to live my pop career through my, my child. No, you're more but like, like, a <laughs> but like it is amazing seeing her doing it because I, like I was there one time and it, she does such a good job of it. You know, I have so much faith in her. That's good praise, isn't yeah. it? It's yeah. amazing, it's, but it's actually I mean, great. I mean, look at her, look how good she looks. I know, I know. <laughs> it's great to have, you know, a singer your mentor be you know so involved in music and you know whatever you might not know they they just help you out and you kind of bounce off each other as well with yeah. little ideas so it's amazing yeah. it really is that it's was going to be my next question was what has the relationship been with you both because you said you knew each other beforehand yeah. but now you're working on one project together yeah. what has been the I suppose the difference this time around. Yeah, but I mean, we've always been friends. I mean, we've known each other because Ireland is so small, Dublin is so small. She, she turn around and bump into some. Everyone yeah. knows everyone. <laughs> and uh, like my whole family's all involved in music. Um, my brother David was in Zoo. De Trevor was on X Factor. Siva's now on The Wanted. Mm -hmm. So we're always been involved in music somewhere. Like I'm nearly 20 years in the business here in Ireland. So, I, uh, you know, it's been a long time getting to know everyone. So. Uh, I, Everybody's very nice in Ireland in the music business. There's no real cutthroat to, uh, compared to England and or when I mean, you go outside of Ireland. But Casey is such a joy to work with. You just say, Casey, we've got to be here. We've got no problem. Like, I remember being that age going, oh, I'm not getting out of bed. I'm not doing it. You know, being young, I'm wanting to do other stuff. Like Casey just said, like, Casey, we've got to be in here for this interview. We did the video, we got to do the photographs. And um, one of the, the nights we went out last week and we organised to go out to do the photograph for the uh, the front sleeve of the CD or the uh, release. And it was lashing rain, absolutely pouring out of the heavens and the gale force winds and she was smiling through the whole thing. Do you know what I mean? So that just goes to show no the work pain, ethic. No no pain, no pain. Just, I'm standing over going, oh my God, Casey, I'm so sorry, with, with a brolly. I'm trying to stop my the hair. Like and she was blue with the cold. <laughs> and we got a great shot. But it was the, the fact that I got to see how much of uh, she's she has a great work ethic. And that's what you need in this business. Well, starting off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Starting off on your own, um, going out in a solo career. I mean, she's obviously had mind of the people looking after her and wondering. Um, Cheapers Wonderland, I was going to say it is Wonderland. Yeah, it is like Wonderland. 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 Um, but uh, you get when, you, when you're being minded like that, but now when you're out on your own, you sort of get to learn it and you have yeah. to get, learn the ropes yourself, do you know? Yeah, it's scary. So I know we were chatting just before we came in here and we were chatting about the song. So, Casey, can you tell me what the name of the song is? The name of the song is called Harpy. Right. And yeah, it's like a pop traditional Irish traditional mix up so it's like it's very good it's very cool and I think it's definitely what Ireland need as well because obviously we're Irish you know you hear other people with their songs and they're putting Irish elements in and yeah. sure why why should we not mm -hmm. embrace it so definitely yeah. excited Denmark won hear. last year with the song, song. that sounded yeah. like an Irish song yeah exactly <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah and for for me being the mentor I decided that for um the song because people were probably expecting me to go pop or rock for stuff that I did before when I was a singer so I just wanted to go outside the box because I absolutely love traditional Irish music my children are in Irish school I love the traditional Irish music um and instead of being the Shan Nose the old style to be the new style like you we see the um the new Irish dancing coming in and it's very much like um Mary dancing it's, it's very much like hard yeah. so it's that all that new style of Irish is coming in and to make the um the mixture of them both together because like for 20 years now um we did uh, river dance yep and I think everybody remembered that year river dance they didn't remember that you know <laughs> we won. won it and who the, I was like who won it that year but um it was such a a, a good boost for Ireland that year with river dance and everyone it's hard to believe it's 20 years old, mm. 20 year old. So with the song, we amalgamated the whole lot together. We put a pop song with the Irish, uh, traditional um, Irish instruments, but made more modern. And we put in the bit of Irish dance in it. And having a phenomenal pop singer. Irish. Okay, everything Jeez, but I the... I hope I uh, live up to that. <laughs> <laughs> she will, I know she will. I heard, will. I heard her doing it already. You will, you will, you Just will. Just no problems. Yeah. And do you think, 
I mean, was that always at the back of your mind that you wanted to do, I suppose, this fusion? Fusion, yeah. Yeah. Would that be the best word to Because, to, I mean, we could have got... I mean, I, I love Johnny Logan and that, that real big, strong ballad, you know, Why Me and uh, Neve Kavanagh song. They... Yes, that's what we're known for, but we're also known for river dance. We're also known for like great pop music. We're also known like Westlife, YouTube, for such a small little country. We're known. Unfortunately, when you go to Eurovision, we haven't got the added bonus of having uh, millions of countries around us that we yeah. cannot vote for. So we got to go back to our roots. Yeah. We got to give them the best that we can give them and be proud to stand behind the song and say, do you know what? It's a really good song. Anyway, I'm happy. I'm happy as a mentor. I did my job. I know that uh, Case is going to do her job on the night. Uh, we're happy as it is. If we win it and we go through to your vision, that's a bonus. Fantastic. So is you you mentioned you've done a video for the song, mm -hmm. and is the song going to be released as yeah. well? And when can we expect it to be released? We are going to put it out. We're going to do the publicity tour. We uh, plan to release on the twenty second of February. So it's two 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 because two 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 are great angel numbers. I'm very spiritual and I believe that. And we're being guided all the way. It's a great yeah. song. It's all about Ireland coming out of the uh, the darkness into the light. And it's a good. It's a really good. Um, song that can resonate with everybody nowadays that people who are spiritually awakened and people who are finding the light instead of being the, ba the bad stuff positive, it's a real it? positive yeah. song well i was just about to say that is something obviously that that resonates with you casey because you seem extremely positive about coming back to your yeah, song again yeah. you know and is that something that i suppose drew you back to coming to the contest and especially working with hazel again definitely yeah you know of course last year i was obviously upset that you know but I, it was great to be involved in the whole thing and meeting it, all the people and it's just such a buzz so this year like there was no like i heard the song and i was like i have to do it again do you know what i mean mm. it's such an amazing no. song i couldn't say no, no so and i'm really really excited either way you know it's a great song and it's, and it's all experience i think in this day and age you gotta do every every bit of work that comes your way do it and yeah you, you get to you, you put your feet as out you go you know i did rock i did pop i did rap do you know, I don't know where I'm going to go next. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It just, it, you get to feel where you actually, if, where, where it works for you. Yeah. And it can only help. Neve Kavanagh has said some very wise words. She goes, Eurovision is what you make of it. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? And you can take you wherever you want to go with yeah. it, you know. And I think you've made a very valid point, Hazel, a few minutes ago, saying that everybody loves Eurovision in Ireland yeah. and we're coming around to loving it even more again, yeah. you know, because there's been an influx influx of new young vibrant people yeah. into the actual contest as well yeah. um, is that something that do you think it's almost like a bit of a pressure on yourselves that you're you're trying to make sure that all these new followers that they enjoy it yeah you know? but it, it, if if you just as i said going into the competition i can only do my best as a mentor i can only do my best only use what i know and you know i've been in the, the business nearly 20 years i know a good pop song i, I I can write music. I've I've done it before. So having the uh, like I wrote with the Swedish team uh, of writers. They were the guys who uh, the demo song came from, and we we changed it, and chopped it, and changed it around. And um, Jonas, one of the writers, he was he already had two songs in the selection for Ireland before. Neve Cavanagh's last one. Tough. Yeah, Jonas. Good man, Jonas. And um, and he's such a great get guy to work with as well. You know, he's, and he loves Eurovision. He loves it as much as I do. I mean, he's like you know, and when. I um, sent the master of the song. I wouldn't give it to him until it was finished. And I sent a master of it to him on Friday. I said to Casey, I have to send you the reply. He was like, wow, wow. I can't believe what you do with it. Because, you know, this is a song that we started off with my vision. And you're going, this is where it's going to go to. And you don't know whether they're going to like yeah. it. And to hear him, and I wouldn't even give him the mix, the, any of the mixes until it was finished and mastered. He couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe how well Casey sang it. He's absolutely blown away. So that's always good when you have that whole team liking the song and everyone has that feeling. And did you find that yourself, Casey, when you were putting the vocals on the song, that it sort of, it, it gradually changed and progressed the more you, time you spent on the recording yeah, of it? Yeah, definitely. Like, I listened to it and obviously the demo singer, you, you don't want to get too, like, sing to a like them. So I went away with the song for a while and... You know put my own little kind of naturally you kind of do it once you know the words and you're flying you just feel it and then whatever uh, way it turns out Casey it was, has a brilliant tone an absolutely brilliant tone and she, the last year she didn't get to show that she was the song was very quick last year this year she gets to show her voice and you'll get to see how good of a singer she is 
wasted in one blast, but wasted in the <laughs> so I'm glad that she's out of it. <laughs> but I mean, everything is a stepping stone. You know, oh, I did my band and then I went on to become a, a solo singer and that's the next stepping stone for Casey. I see huge things for her. And I mean, do you, being a solo singer, as you said, coming from Wonderland, is it different from yourself not having the, the rest of the group around for, for oh, support? Oh yeah, completely, definitely. Like you tend to kind of lean on the other girls. Like, well, obviously when the band split, you know, I was like lost. I was like, oh my God, you want to turn around and, oh, you know, it's all on you. If you make a mistake, you're like, oh crap. If I forget my words, it's not yeah, the it's, same. It's not, it's not like it's your fault. <laughs> it's like all on you, but it's amazing. I love it. I do love being out there on stage on my own. I just, I love it. And now tell me, has your brother, Shavash, listened to the song? He's listened to it. Uh, all of them, uh, they've all listened they've to all. it. And it's, because I have like eight, uh, there's eight in my family, eight children, and they're all musically, they're all, yeah. there's only one that's not, um, and they all got it the night that I sent it out, and the whole lot of them all came back. You'd got one who said, mm, my mate needs to change the tempo a little bit, you got the one. Um, and then, you know, so you're getting, you're getting, a mixture of feeling from it, but they all loved it. Steve has the same, he just thought it was excellent. And it's good for him because he's he's doing his stuff over in uh, England where he's with a band of four other guys. Yeah. So you, you're not really getting to put your own uh, Irishness into it. You're not really getting your say. He'll only get be able to do that when he comes out and he does his own stuff, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. So he's getting to hear what the, uh, which I had given them, the, them all the vision for us. And they were like, yeah, we're dying to hear it. To actually now hear it. And now understand it where, where I was, where I could see it in my head, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to being, being helped out with the tweet, <laughs> with the Twitter vote. It's always good when you have a brother in a band. Hashtag everything. Everyone, yeah. But you know, as I said, it, we um, I went into this saying, look, if we find a good song, I'm happy standing behind a song known as a great song. Do you know what I mean? Look, if we don't get past and we don't get picked in your song, I don't care. It is, way, I'm, yeah, oh, I'm happy. Way. We did such a good job of it. I'm happy because I'm behind it and say, you know what, I'm proud of it. And I'm proud of what I did. Proud of having Casey there. I'm proud of the actual concept. And I'm proud of being Irish. Yeah, that's what you want. Diddly, diddly. <laughs> Bring on the diddle. I, 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 I get this feeling in my mind, and I know this is not what you're going for, but I'm expected that I'm going to be dragged up on stage in your song to do Bewitched. You know what no, I mean? No, 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 not, not that. like that. Okay, no. That's the old style Irish. <laughs> yes. This is new style. This is an amalgamation of like new. I'm talking like, you know, a, like river dance the way it is now that style that that real quick stuff not like i'm being told not to say diddly eye but we don't mind diddly eye but it's new style diddly eye do you know what i mean this seems so exciting and so fresh that i really can't take a part dance me yeah <laughs> like Hazel a flag. <laughs> Hazel, I'll put on a blonde wig and we can be Michael Flackley and Jim Butler, all right? And we'll do a three. I was going to say we'll do a three. So, no. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. Oh, God. So, tell me, how are you going to translate this fantastic fusion of the, the song to the actual live? performance well, on the show itself it's uh, as, as a mentor and that we're having the concept like the concept was it was uh, we've named it con lynn which is sing together it's it's kind of featuring casey smith and con lynn is the concept because it's it's everything coming together right so uh Conna is sing and lynn is together so it's, it's a fusion of irish so it's um on the stage we can only have six so it's going to be very hard you'd love to have a hundred irish dancers there yeah. doing the whole you know <laughs> it's not going to work so um we've used uh casey will be up front singing and we'll have two irish dancers uh the instrument one of the instruments is prominent in the song uh, will be playing on stage at the same time and two backing vocalists. Fantastic. So, so exciting. This really sounds really exciting. Okay. I can't. So what song are you, which, which uh, number are you performing? We're song three. three. Song yeah. number three. Yeah. Okay. And everybody, the, the, the Euro song final is on Friday the 28th yeah. on the Late Late Show mm -hmm. and Casey's song is Song three. Song, song number three, Heartbeat. Heartbeat. And um, you can all vote on the night, so yeah. make sure you do that. Now, for people who want to learn more about you, Casey, what social media networks can I'm we find you on? Facebook. My name is Casey Leanne Smith. L-E-E-A-N-N. -E -E and Smith with an I. <laughs> 
the most common name in the world. We're, we're doing a big um, uh, social media thing behind it, so okay. you'll see it. It'll be it'll be everywhere. We're going to be doing the publicity tour. I on every radio station we'll be on. We'll be telling everyone where to go. We'll have yeah. our own page for the the song, for song three. We'll. And Casey will have all the links. We'll Whatever have. updates we have, we, we'll be putting in. We will have all the links on the end of this yeah. video as well, underneath. So just hit underneath, hit like and hit share yes. to make sure that everybody yeah, gets to see to Casey, definitely. you know, for that. Well, look, can I wish you both Thanks the very, you. very, very best of luck. I'm so excited now to hear this song. You know, uh, I think the first of March will never come so I can sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to really wish I don't win so I can go home and sleep. <laughs> But it's been so so cool and so much fun. Like it, you know, it's if if we get through, it's a bonus. Exactly. Well, look, Casey, thank you for coming back to thank your own song, us. and thank you for dashing from the airport. I so appreciate that. No problem that. at all. My hair's a bit flat now, but don't talk about hair. It. Don't talk about hair. <laughs> Hazel, thank you so thank you. much for coming Thanks along well. today, and I wish you both the very Thanks very best you. of luck. And remember, everybody, tune in on the twenty eighth of February to RT. It's song number three, Heartbeat. Thank you.